Hey guys, it's Siobhan with The Kitty and Beyond. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing an energy update for the current state of the world, <laughs> of the energy and everything in between. So right now we are currently sitting at 32, power 32 on the Schumann Resonance. This week has shown a little bit more activity than normal. Um, there has been though an increase energetically speaking, which might not be showing up quite as much on the Schumann Resonance. And that is uh, over on spaceweather.com. They're reporting that the Earth is currently going through a stream of solar wind being emitted from a new opened um, hole in the sun's atmosphere. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely feeling that, um, especially like right now. It's currently 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time as I'm recording this, and I've been feeling it all day. And it feels to me, and if you are not new to the channel, then you'll know what I'm talking about. It feels to me like having low blood sugar. So it, it I feel a little bit um, sort of tingly all over, a little bit spacey, can't get really get grounded. So I was guided to do a meditation just before recording this energy update, and I was shown um, myself wearing armor. <laughs> um, not to do battle per se, but to basically just suit up um because we're going to work and we are currently at work all of the light workers if you're here listening to this energy update then chances are very high that you are a light worker and whether you are currently aware of this consciously or not you are doing work um in the astral realm in the etheric realm in all of the different dimensions so this current state of energy right now that we have can feel a little bit overwhelming. Some of the ascension symptoms that go with that I've reported in past energy update videos. I will leave the links to some of those um, now <laughs> up in the corner. But on top of that, we have some energetic activations coming in or rather in tandem with the, the solar energy. They're very much one and the same. But as I report always that right before there's an energy update of some kind, um, I will start to see my guides standing in the corners of the room or close to me. That's my warning sign or my sort of my little flag that there's about to be an income of energy. And sure enough, late last night and then early today and throughout today, there's been this peak of energy. So on top of all of that, we are currently in the spring equinox. So today is the 19th. Um, depending on your hemisphere, this will it be the spring equinox or the fall equinox. But in the northern hemisphere, which is where I'm making this energy update from, we have the spring equinox, which represents the balance of light and dark. It's the day where day and night are equal lengths. So we have this opportunity for a new beginning. It's very much signifying a rebirth or a resurrection of the sun, uh, the son of God, i.e. Christ, Christ consciousness, as well as the sun itself. So it's a rebirth of this new spring and summer where the sun lasts for longer. It's also the astrological new year. So this is kind of like January but not on the Gregorian calendar, more so just in terms of energy. So we're really starting fresh, starting new. And on the astro astrological terms as well, we're now beginning Aries season. And Aries is very fiery, motivated, passionate, confident, a little bit headstrong, <laughs> but they're great leaders. Um, and they tend to be extroverted, which is kind of ironic since most of us are in quarantine. So speaking of world health, I wanted to talk about the global conditions right now. So we have lots of astral clearing taking place. It's occurring mostly during sleep time, but some, some of it may take place while we're actually consciously awake. This can lead to exhaustion. And I've been talking about this in my posts on Instagram, if you follow me over there. So this is about being aware of your physical state. You know, if you need more rest, if you need to sleep, take a nap. Because especially doing astral clearing and there's so much going on right now in the in the other dimensions that our souls are working overtime so when you wake up in the morning and you're not feeling rested it's because your soul has been working all night long 
So just go easy on yourself at this time. Um, some of the things that you can do to do that are to do with mental health, all right? So focus on mental health. We want to de-stress. And how can we do that? Well, most of us are cooped up, so let's play games. Let's connect with our inner child. Get creative. Draw, paint, sing, dance. Make something new. Meditate if you're not sure what else to do. Stay connected as well. So even though we're social distancing, we don't actually have to distance ourselves socially. We just have to distance ourselves physically. So I love using Skype or online means to stay connected to my friends and family. Most of my family are on the other side of Canada anyway, so I'm really used to this and I'm introverted. So the, really this, this, whole, <laughs> this whole global thing right now doesn't really feel like anything's changed for me other than, you know, the grocery stores. But the point of this is to stay connected. So not only connected to our friends and family and the world at large, but also staying connected through meditation, affirmations, and mindfulness to our higher self, to our guides, and to source. So this is of utmost importance right now. And what my my higher self has been channeling to me is that sunlight is also really important. There's a lot of sun codes that are coming in. These are light codes being delivered via sun and sunlight. So if you can, get out into the sun. And I did a, a little community post um on the community board about this and there was a couple of people asking about you know how can I do this if I'm in quarantine and there's so many different ways so if you have a balcony even if it's small and only the sun comes for a little bit of time you can take that opportunity to stand in the light just having your skin in the light is going to be very beneficial but you can also sun gaze during sunrise and sunset for very um very integrated light codes it's also really positive for your body so you know we get vitamin d from the sun and this is integrated through our uh, all of our cells but the light codes are also helping melatonin production which boosts our sleep and activates the pineal gland so it's all the different hormones in our body that really help to support our immune system both physically and spiritually so the sun is very important and i feel like a lot of the people in quarantine are not getting enough sunlight so even if you can look at it through your window or drive somewhere that's remote and out in nature and go for a little walk that would be great as well so the sun is basically emitting this full spectrum of light um, so I was guided to take a drive the other day and um, watch the sun set and as the sun was setting I was seeing all these different colors being emitted from the sun and uh, my boyfriend was seeing different colors but similar ones just not at the same time so it was interesting to me and I asked what this was about and my higher self said well the sun's emitting all of the different color spectrums of light so the sun is emitting basically a rainbow rainbow light rainbow body activations and whatever you need at that time is what you're going to see or if you don't see it it's what your body's going to pick up on or integrate uh, or activate within you so I was seeing pink green and turquoise specifically and all of those really relate to the heart chakra as well as the higher heart chakra so these two are really being activated at this time whether this is just for me or if it's for the collective I'm just going to put that out there so um, another way to boost immune <laughs> boost immunity is laughter <laughs> so they're making me laugh by saying that wrong thank you so laughter really is the best medicine it increases your vibration it increases your frequency it improves your physical immunity as well so if you can find a way to laugh, you know, even if it's just YouTubing uh, a funny video or a comedian that you like, watching cat videos, whatever tickles your fancy, <laughs> reach out and, and look for that. Really seek out ways to laugh because that's going to help the collective. That's going to help us as well. You know, each individual, I find that laughter really does make me feel better. It opens my heart chakra. It makes me feel lighter and it makes healing easier easier so other immune boosting things that you can do are like i said vitamin d through light codes or through supplementation but obviously the best form is always in the natural form um, zinc as well iron if you're iron deficient 
um, especially if you're vegetarian or vegan or primarily plant-based. Um, elderberry was something that came up. So if you'd like to go do more research on that, I advise it. But that was something that came through from my higher self and I was guided to take that. Um, also, it was advised from my, my dad. He messaged me and said, take shaga and elderberry. And so I went out and got some. So chaga or shaga as well. It's a, it's a mushroom and you can get the mushroom blends or just straight shaga. You can have it as a tea or as um, a tincture or as as uh, in pill form and I have them in pill form and I've really been liking them so chaga in particular it helps with um, DNA healing so it heals at a cellular level and it's helping to um, boost the ability to remain immune to anything viral so just keep that in mind. Also, colloidal silver has been something that's been coming through. I've never actually used it and I don't have any, but that's what I've been seeing a lot and um, intuitively feeling really guided towards. So I'm probably going to go out and get some of that. Uh, turmeric as well is great and cinnamon, very natural. You can make a turmeric cinnamon golden milk latte, one of my favorites. So it's basically just almond milk, turmeric, cinnamon, a little pinch of pepper for the absorption of turmeric. And then you get all of these beautiful benefits, maybe a little bit of honey if for sweetness, but that's just me. And last but not least, ashwagandha. So there's probably so many other ones that you can use supplements and natural herbal remedies for this. Um, oh, they're reminding me of one more that I forgot to put on the list, oregano oil. <laughs> so for those of you who regularly take oregano oil or who are interested in going and getting some, I'm sure you can order it online. Um, but these are just some of the natural things that we can do to to boost our immunity. I don't know why I'm having such difficulty saying that. <laughs> okay, and last thing is um, a channeled date that I was given. So I woke up in the morning one day and I kept seeing or hearing April 12th, April 12th, April 12th, April 12th. And so curiously, I went and looked at my calendar and I said, what is April 12th? <laughs> sure enough, it's Easter Sunday. So this is the resurrection day. It's the resurrection of Christ and what does Christ represent but Christ consciousness, which is unity consciousness. It is our fully embodied divinity in the human form. It's our ability to die and be reborn as immortals, which we always have been, but it's the physical representation of that. So I really see this as the resurrection of humanity, the rebirth of a new world. Uh, so take that as you'd like, and only if it resonates, but that was what came through for me. So I think that's everything that I wanted to talk about um, update-wise, although there are um, a few other housekeeping things that I'd like to mention. So first and foremost, when it comes to services and offerings, I will be providing a discount at this time for those who are suffering with anxiety, fear, or any kind of physical illness. So I'm offering a $99 um, for a 90-minute Reiki session instead of the $144 that it usually is. All my pricing is in Canadian dollars, and I uh, except payment through PayPal or e-transfer, but PayPal is the one that is most used because you can uh, convert your money easily that way. So the 90-minute Reiki healing sessions are fantastic if you're, if you're suffering with anxiety or fear or um, any physical symptoms as well. So Reiki heals on all levels, mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual. Um, also, um, I'm going to be offering new spiritual and emotional counseling sessions for those who are dealing with a lot of stress at this time. So these are all going to be virtual. The Reiki is done over Skype. The spiritual counseling is done over Skype as well. So these are going to be $50 for 30 minutes or $70 for 60 minutes live over Skype where you can talk, you can vent, and I will provide um, a compassionate heart, a listening ear, and tools for dealing with your anxiety, your fear, your stress, or whatever is going on in your life. I'm also going to be offering a $19 tarot card reading. So this is going to be the healing reading. It's a limited time offer and it is a four card spread which will be delivered via email. So it's all written up and sent out um, over email. So if you'd like to book or order any of these additional services or discounts or take advantage of anything that I've just mentioned, all of the additional information will be in the description box below this video. Uh, if you'd like to book 
a session or order a reading, you can email me at services.dukittyandbeyond at gmail.com. Thank you so much for listening, guys, and I hope that everybody's doing well. I hope that everyone is feeling safe, content, and spiritually protected because you are. This is a huge uprising, and we're in this together. So this is what we've been waiting for. In love and light, see you next time. Bye.